Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Very good. And you? Very good. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was evening, your day? Teacher. Did you have a good day? Yeah. Okay, excellent. And the rest of you? How was your day? I had a good day, teacher. You had a good day. Okay, yeah. excellent. And you? Uh, it was a heavy day, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> okay. I will... Um, Finally, I'm here. I enjoyed this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is my happy hour. <laughs> I um, understand. <laughs> well, um, we're going to start today's class from where we stopped yesterday. I see it, I'm missing some people and somebody, alguien escribió que estaba en tráfico and I know it's difficult. But we're going to start, vamos a empezar, ojalá que se unan los demás pronto. ¿Verdad? And we need to continue here working. Okay, uh, yesterday we were talking about places and uh, also we studied about some prepositions of place. So we're going to start from here. Um, Ya les había comentado antes, ¿verdad? Este, el material que, te, bueno, es un poquito diferente en some cases, but es casi que lo mismo. Este mapa ustedes lo tienen en su material que descargaron e imprimieron, solo que los dibujitos son diferentes. Este es como los dibujos son más claros y todo, entonces por eso estoy usando esto. Igual se los mandé en el PowerPoint el domingo para que lo tuvieran ahí. Eh, disponible. Entonces, eh, es importante practicar también listening para que ustedes desarrollen, escuchen otras pronunciaciones, escuchen los audios. Entonces, vamos a hacer un listening de este ejercicio. ¿Ok? Ok. El listening es this one. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five, listen to four conversations, and then you have to write, where is the people going? Bam, vamos a escuchar las cuatro conversaciones y vamos a escribir a dónde va la gente, basándonos en lo que escuchamos y en el mapa. Si no tienen impresa la presentación, no se preocupen, lo pueden hacer en su cuaderno. Solo escriban número uno, dos, tres, cuatro, Y el lugar a donde van las personas, de acuerdo a cómo escuchen, a dónde van. Van al movie theater o van a la gas station. Ahí ustedes ponen el número uno, tal parte. Número dos, para tal parte. Y van a ir viendo el mapa. Ok. Ok. Is that clear? Ok, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Ok. No sé qué están viendo ahorita. Screen. ¿Están viendo la PowerPoint o están viendo que estoy moviendo el, el mapa? PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Ok, perfect. Entonces significa que están viendo el mapa. Entonces le voy a poner el, el audio de las conversaciones y ustedes viendo el mapa van a escribir a dónde es que están yendo las personas. Voy a compartir el sonido. Heard sound. Ok. Page 89, exercise 6. Listening. Can you listen? Se escucha yes, el audio. Yes, okay. sure. yes. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. 
Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between Maria's restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue, next to the supermarket. P and J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Uh, yes, Emma? ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que estar viendo? Escribir a dónde van las personas. Ir viendo el mapa, escuchar la conversación y escribir para dónde van. Uh -huh. eh, es lo que hicimos ayer. Did we do this yesterday? No. No, o sea, eso es el yeah, mismo. Yeah, but it's different. El mapa. Ajá, el mapa es el mismo, solo que ahora ustedes están escuchando una conversación y esta persona le está dando la, la dirección y en base a eso que usted escucha va a decir a dónde va esa persona. Para dónde va, si va para el teatro, si va para el parque, etc. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue, across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay. Thanks. Okay, one more time. Lo vamos a escuchar una vez más. Page 89, exercise 6. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between Maria's restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue, next to the supermarket. P and J supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. 4. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue, across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. Okay, so where is the person number one going? I think it's in the bank. In the bank. To the yeah. bank. Okay, and number two? I think it's Maria restaurant. Uh huh. What about number three? Movie theater. Movie theater. And number four? Coffee shop. Yeah, we'll okay. Do you all have the same answer? Todos tienen lo mismo? Are you have different? Yeah, 
Okay, we're going to check your answers. Vamos a chequear aquí. Okay, number one, the bank. That's correct. Los que pusieron el banco, that's correct. Number two, the drugstore. Number three, Maria's restaurant. And number four, the shoe store. Were the answer correct? Yes or no? Si las tenían así como en el ejercicio? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> todas. Todas, todas. Yes. Okay, that's excellent. I'm happy to know that. <laughs> Me alegra saber porque realmente esto de las direcciones hasta en español es complicado. Y si le atinaron en inglés, créanme que es un gran logro. <laughs> so this topic is kind of difficult. Este tema siento yo que es difícil y así como en esta modalidad que estamos ahorita es un poco más. But <laughs> I'm happy that you did it. Ok, so vamos a revisar asistencia, ¿verdad? Antes Está mala la señal aquí. Sí, Oscar, quizás es su señal porque... No sé los demás, si ¿Sí me escuchan bien los demás, todo bien. Teacher. ¿Sí? Yes. Yo sí te escucho. Ok, sí, ya de ser eso. Um, a veces incluso el que esté haciendo bien tú afecta. Okay. Ah, eso sí. Y en algunas partes está haciendo bien. Uh -huh. Sí, ok, Ana Trinidad. Thank you. Andrea Estefanía. Present. Okay. Candida Janet. Present teacher. Okay. Dinora Estela. Present teacher. Diamensis Tito. Present. Edwin de Jesús. Okay. Emily Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay. Emma Tatiana. Present teacher. Thank you. Eric Jonathan. Eric Jonathan. <laughs> Irving Norberto. Present. Joanna Celina. Here, teacher. Okay. Uh, Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto. Juan Daniel. Present. Okay, Carla Maria. Carla Maria. Moises Eduardo. Present. Okay, de Jesus. Oscar David. Oscar sí estaba, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, creo que se está conectando. Está conectando. Ok. Osmel Antonio. Yeah, I'm here, teacher. Okay. Andrea Estefanía. Present. Uh, Reina Carolina. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Rosa Guadalupe. Sara y Beatriz. Present. Okay. Walter Giovanni. Present. Ok. 
Okay, um, that's it. No sé si hay ya alguien que recién se conectó, que no lo mencioné porque veo que se han conectado algunos. Teacher, yo me había conectado, pero me desconecté. Oscar. Oscar. Uh, sí, a Oscar ya lo anoté. A mí no me había mencionado tampoco. Gracias. Uh, ¿Nombre? René Murillo. René Murillo. Ahorita lo busco acá. Él le agarró el tráfico. René, René, René. René Murillo. René, ¿será que me desapareció de la lista? <ríe> no lo encuentro, en serio. Dios me hace René Eric. Me lo voy a anotar por aquí, voy a ver qué pasó. Porque no me aparece. Era Pero... casi de los últimos. Ajá, sí, 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 recuerdo que tendría que estar en la lista. Sugería, sí. sí, es que como es una cosa compartida en, en, en Drive, a veces sucede. Una vez me borraron los nombres de todos y me tocó. Que a veces los tocan por ahí. René Eliseo Murillo. Ok, voy a anotar por aquí. Ay, Dios mío. Y ahora me faltan más. I don't know what's going on. Dios, me faltan más que los que estaban al principio. Creo que el internet sí nos está molestando bastante. Es que hay mucho viento en todos lados, entonces creo que eso es. Sí, sí, porque igual a mí este me, me estuvo molestando, pero durante el día. Y es igual el mismo caso. Ok, René, ya anoté por aquí. ¿Alguien más? Yo, teacher, no sé si me escucho. Y le escucho bien a lo lejos. Dígame su nombre para Joana. buscar. Joana. Sí, es que creo que sí también me está fallando él. Sí, la, la mencioné. Joana. Sí. Aquí está. Por lo menos okay. no me ha desaparecido de la lista. Ok, gracias. Teacher, Aquí está. I, I am here too. Ok. Eh, ok, Lee. Yes. Uh -huh. Sí, ya le puse que ya está, ok. ¿Alguien más? Ok. Rosa Guadalupe no se conectó. Carla María. Jorge Alberto. Ok, solo eran ustedes entonces, ¿verdad? Bueno, ya estamos completos. Vamos a seguir. Yo ya veo 20 otra vez. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. Uh, let's continue with our exercises. All right. Uh, then after that, you have a couple of reading, right? We have this in your snapshot. Uh, popular touristic attractions. Ok, esto lo tienen en, en su material, ¿verdad? Popular tourist attractions. We have the Pardon of the Pyramid of the Sun, the Forbidden City, the Golden Gate Bridge, the Red Square, and the Copacabana Beach. Uh, do you know any of these attractions? ¿Conocían alguna de estas atracciones? Golden Gate. The Golden Gate. Where is it? ¿A dónde está? 
It is in San Francisco. Okay, it is in San Francisco, California. It is very famous. Another that you know? Pater no. It's Greek. Ah, oh, yes, it's, it's Greek. Yes, it's very famous. Have you heard about any other of this one? ¿Han escuchado de alguna otra de estas? Copacabana. Where is Copacabana? Uh, Copacabana is in Rio de Janeiro. Ah, ok, in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, right? Brazil. Yeah. And what about the pyramid of the sun? Where is it? Is that in Egypt? Son de Egipto esas o de donde son? Where are they? The Mexico. Mexico. Oh, right in Mexico? Guatemala. Guatemala. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know them. Okay, so those ones are the ones that you have in the material. But um, well, in the conversation and the conversation que tienen, tienen, eh, hablan más de estas, que son las de New York City. Top tourist attractions in New York City. Have you heard about any of them? Todas estas son en Nueva York. Have you heard about them? Yes or no? Yes. Of which one? Rockefeller Center. The Rockefeller Center. What do you know about the Rockefeller Center? It is in New York. Mm -hmm. It is in New York. What else? What can you do there? ¿Qué se puede hacer ahí? ¿O por qué es famoso? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let's listen to the um to the recording so we can um uh, uh, pay attention to the way that it's uh, they are pronounced and then we're going to practice. Page eighty nine, exercise okay. seven, snapshot. Top tourist attractions, New York City. Listen and practice. The Empire State Building, Grand Central Terminal, Central Park, Times Square, Rockefeller Center, the Statue of Liberty. Times Square. Okay, let's listen again and let's... Page 89, Exercise 7, Snapshot. Top tourist attractions, no, New sorry. York City. Listen and practice. The Empire State Building. The Empire, the State, Empire Building. State Building. The Empire State Building. Empire Grand, State Central State Terminal. Terminal. Grand Central Grand Terminal. Grand Central Terminal. Grand Central Terminal. Grand Central Terminal. Central Park. 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 Times Square. Times Square. Times Square. 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 Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller, Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center. The Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. Okay, cool. So we will move on and study the conversation that we have here. Teacher, yeah? I have a question. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se pronuncia estatua? Statue. Statue. Mm -hmm. Podemos escucharla again if you want and you can continue practicing. 
Let's repeat. Page 89, Exercise 7, Snapshot. Top Tourist Attractions, New York City. Listen and practice. The Empire State Building, Grand Central Terminal, Central Park, Central Park, Times Square, Times Square, Rockefeller Center, Rockefeller Center, The Statue of Liberty, Statue of Liberty. Okay, so we're going to um, move on and practice the conversation that we have there. Okay, uh, in your material, you have this conversation, but the drawings are different. But it's exactly the same conversation. Eh, tienen en su material la misma conversación, solo que los dibujitos son diferentes. But, pero me gusta que escuchen el audio de, de la presentación, pero eh, yo lo tengo en otra versión, por eso van a ver un poquito diferente. Eh, pero es importante, es, es bueno que ustedes escuchen los audios porque escuchan un acento diferente, escuchan la pronunciación diferente eh, y así pues van adaptando su, su oído a eso también. Así es que... Voy a compartir una vez más y van a practicar la conversación. Acuérdense que esa la tienen en su material y también pues la tienen en el PowerPoint que les mandé el domingo. Ok. Uh, right. Listen, the conversation is titled, Is it far from here? As you see, it's, uh, well, I see that this is a tourist and he is asking a question. Let's listen to the conversation and then we're going to practice. Page 89, exercise 8, conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Okay, do you have any question about vocabulary? Near? Near. What is the meaning of near? Cerca. 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 Uh -huh. Cerca. Any other? Monte. Mom. Okay. This is like a short form of saying madame. It's a French word. Uh -huh. And estas son algunas palabras en francés que se usan en inglés. Por ejemplo, sir. Cuando decimos caballero, sir, esa es una palabra francesa que se usa en inglés, sir. Y para señora es madame, madame. Y la, um, así es el mom, es like saying madame. Es dama, ¿verdad? La dama, el caballero, uh, señora, that's madame, right? Any other question? ¿Hay alguna otra pregunta? Um, pronunciation de of cathedral. 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 Como con Z y cathedral. Cathedral. Uh -huh. Cathedral. Ok, I'm going to play it again. Lo voy a uh, hacer play otra vez y voy a ir pausando para que ustedes puedan repetir. Primero escuchen y luego repiten. Ok, yo le voy a poner pausa. Por ejemplo, aquí las, él empieza el turista acá y termina acá. Aquí yo le voy a dar pausa para que ustedes repitan. Ok. 
Page 89, Exercise 8, Conversation. Is it far from here? Listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma can you help me? How do you get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Yes. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? Thank you. Where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. It's right behind it's you. It's right behind you. Just right around, around you. and look out. Around and look out. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, do you have any question or something that is uh, difficult to pronounce for you? It is behind or is behind? Behind. 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 Yes. It's right behind you. Just Any other? Okay. Teacher, yeah. Teacher, I have a question. What is the meaning that it's right behind you? It's right, it's como justo, y el atrás. behind is atrás, it's justo atrás de ti. It's right behind you. Okay, any other question? Okay, so I'm going to create the section group so you can practice with your classmates. Voy a hacer las secciones de grupo para que practiquen la conversación en los breakout rooms. Esta conversación la tienen en su material y también en la presentación en el PowerPoint. Practiquen en grupo y traten de ir cambiando roles. Yes? Y la última palabra, just run around, es... Date la vuelta. Ajá, solo gira. Gira, just ah. turn around. Y look up, mira hacia arriba. Mira. Look up. Look up. Look up. Mira hacia arriba. Okay, y let us click join or unirse so you can practice with your classmate.
teacher, una pregunta. Yes, tell me. En la conversación hay como un ST punto, como para decir, how do you get to ST Patrick Cathedral? ¿Qué Saint. es eso? Saint. Es Saint? como decir San. Ah, oh, ok. Ajá, es como decir no San. Teacher, porque eso hablábamos. Como San un... Patricio, es Saint. Saint. Okay. Saint, ajá. Se ah, escribe. Okay. Um, ahorita les pongo el completo. Se escribe acá, Saint. Y casi que se pronuncia igual, Saint. Esta es la abreviación que ven ahí, Saint Patrick's. Es como la iglesia de, o la catedral de San Patricio, St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Cathedral. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other question? ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta acerca de la conversación? No questions? No question, teacher. Okay, so we will move on. Now that we already practice, we will move on. And um, I'm going to share my screen so you can see the video. But give me one second. I know this is so... Okay. Let me try to share again. We're going to watch the video because, well, yesterday we were practicing some of the prepositions of place that we can use when giving directions. And then in the conversation, we studied other ones. Can you see my screen? I'm on the platform right now. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher, I can see. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yes, Let's see. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. Disculpe, teacher, pero is esta right? conexión que tengo a internet no me sirve. And practice. No puedo ver nada. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. For answers, walk up, go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? 
let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue and we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down Fifth Avenue, or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary, turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say, turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. All right, so do you have any question regarding to vocabulary here? Questions, how do you feel this topic is it being difficult? No questions, no comments? Okay, so let's study the vocabulary that you just heard in the video, and also we will practice it. Let me turn my screen. Okay, this is the useful vocabulary that you studied on the video, and it's going to be useful uh, whenever we're given directions, right? So let's listen and try to repeat. Page 90, exercise 9, grammar focus. Directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? How do you? How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Nice. How do I get? How do I get to? How do I how do I get to Rockefeller Center? How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Walk up Fifth, Walk up Avenue. Fifth, Avenue. Up Fifth Avenue. Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth, Go up Fifth, Avenue. Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. Turn left, Turn left on 49th Street. Street. It's on the right. It's on, it's the, on right. the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Walk down Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. No. Turn right on 42nd Street. Turn right, Turn right, right on 42nd Street. Street. It's on the left. 
Okay, that's used for vocabulary that you may use when uh, asking for and giving directions, right? Eh, este es el vocabulario que podemos usar cuando estemos dando direcciones, ¿verdad? O cuando para preguntar pueden usar estas dos preguntas y básicamente es lo mismo cuando estamos preguntando. Eh, puede decir, um, how do I get to? How do I get to Rockefeller Center? How do I get, How do I get to? to? Y el nombre del lugar. ¿Cómo llego a tal parte? ¿Cómo llego a tal parte? Y esa es la misma pregunta. How can I get? ¿Cómo puedo llegar? ¿Cómo puedo llegar o cómo llego? Es básicamente lo mismo en dos maneras diferentes de preguntar. Pero cualquiera de las dos y es exactamente lo mismo. How do you... Para preguntar cómo llegar a cierto lugar. ¿Ok? How do I get to? How do I get to Rockefeller Center? To... How can I get to Bryant Park? Right? How, how do Teacher. I get to... Huh? Y estaría... O sea, ahí están ocupando el get. Y si se dice de otra manera, fuera incorrecta. Como por ejemplo, ocupar el verbo arrive. Mm, it's not usual. Si usted lo pregunta así, se le, le van a entender. Pero eh, realmente no se utiliza eh, en, este, en, en este contexto de estar preguntando cómo llegar, porque ando preguntando dirección. Sino que el llegar ya, ya es en, en el, el hecho ah. de que usted ya, se, ya está llegando a un lugar. Usted llega a un lugar porque ya conoce, ¿verdad? Mm. Pero si no conoce, entonces usamos este sí. verbo, el get. ¿Okay? En cambio, si usted dice, how do I arrive? Ah. Sí le va a entender un americano. Pero um, si tenía chance de que lo confundieran con un gringo. Mira, vas a ver que no soy de ahí, obviamente. <ríe> sí, sí le entiendo. <ríe> sí le entiendo, <ríe> pero es como, no es correcto. ¿Ok? Any other question? Okay. Walk down, ¿qué es? Walk, go, da, go down. Walk down. Es como similar cuando decimos en, en, en español. Hacia abajo. Esta calle para abajo. Okay. Walk down. Es como camine hacia abajo. Esta calle para abajo. Walk down. Teacher. Por ejemplo, si yo estoy aquí, estoy aquí en la, cated, en la Madison Avenue y quiero llegar a la Grand Central Terminal, me tendría que decir walk down, váyase, camine hacia abajo, camine la Madison hacia abajo, walk down Madison Avenue. ¿Otra pregunta? Teacher. Teacher. Sí. Yo solo quería como comentar algo este, o agregar, por decirlo así. No sé si estoy equivocado. Este, cuando se va en vehículo, este, ya se cambia el walk. Por ejemplo, si va en un vehículo manejando es drive. Drive, eh, drive no, down. Solo le dicen go. Vaya hacia abajo. Go down. Ok. O oh, si le pueden decir, maneje en eh, go along o drive along. Si me dicen, maneje toda la Madison. Drive along Madison Avenue. Pueden utilizar el verbo drive también. Si está cerca, le dice camine hacia abajo, walk down. Si la persona va a pie, o usted le va a decir walk down. Pero si va en carro, nomás le puede decir go. Go down. Eh, vaya hacia abajo tantos bloques. Es no necesario to say drive. O pues, si sí le puede decir continue driving two blocks. Continúa manejando dos bloques. But you can use the drive too. Pueden usar el drive también. Ok. Excellent. Any other question?
Okay, uh, as you saw on the video, lo que se hace con este vocabulario es memorizárselo y practicarlo, ¿verdad? Como decir, gire a la derecha, por ejemplo. To right on. Turn right on y le puedo right. decir en qué calle. Ajá. Turn a la izquierda. Turn left on. Uh -huh. Camine dos cuadras. Walk, 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 walk along to two blocks. Ah, por ahí lo mencionaron ya. ¿Cómo se dice? Walk along to two blocks. Two blocks. Como uh, para bloques, como los new kids on the block. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's block. Okay, any other question? Block. And this is just practice. Eh, y, y pues ahí tienen el, el mapa en, en su material. Está este mapa. That's very similar. And you can use it in order to practice. Pueden utilizarlo para practicar. Okay. Yo voy a practices in this. And you have it here. Okay. Aquí tienen el mapa en su material. So you can say, imagine you are tourist. Entonces agarran el mapa, hacen un punto de partida y pues ahí ustedes van practicando. Right? Eh, escribir eh, diferentes direcciones. Por ejemplo, you can say, ah, estoy, ¿a dónde estoy? Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. I need a pointer here. Cuando lo necesito, no está. Can you see my screen? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay, so. Oh, my. Back. Back. Yeah. Okay, imagine that I am here. I am at the Empire State Building and I want to get to the Grand Central Terminal. Okay, I am here. Yeah, I am here, the Empire State Building. How do I get to the Grand Terminal? Can you Walk give me directions? Up. How to get to the Grand Terminal? Grand Central Terminal? Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. And turn our for, for left. second street. Or Two left block. or right. Two block. Right. Second street. Turn right on 42nd okay. Street. Uh -huh. Turn right for 42nd Street. One and block. Two left Park Avenue. Two blocks. Okay. Go to blocks. Uh huh. Buy a Go block. to blocks. Go to blocks. Yeah. And Grand Terminal is and is on in the corner of and. Park Avenue and it's on the left. Ajá. Puede decirme yeah. está en la esquina de Park Avenue o como dijo el compañero, it's on the left. Okay, excellent. And there, um, the I am left. here in the New York Public Library. Aquí estoy ahora. I am at the New York Public Library. How do I get to the Rockefeller Center? I am at the New York Public Library. How do I get to the Rockefeller Center? Go walk along 42, 42nd Street. To the right. So you say walk on along the 42nd Street and turn right. Turn right, right on 6th Avenue. On 6th Avenue, uh-huh. I mean, you see that Rockefeller Center. And then you see the Rockefeller Center. So exactly, that's excellent. So this is not very difficult. It's just required practice. Solo requiere practica and that's it. 
Okay, I won't take you more of your time. I know that you are tired and you need to sleep. So we're going to stop here and uh, see you tomorrow for a new talk, right? See you tomorrow, teacher. Sleep well and see you then. See you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs>